Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We're doing a little update, uh, progress on, with the solar dehydrator. We've had the apple slices in about two and a half hours, and you can see uh, 129.2 degrees. And I want to show you that we are maintaining that temperature with full airflow. Uh, we played with it, and it, we got up to 130. And climbing, we wanted to slow it down a little because uh, after 130 we could burn the fruit. So I'm encouraged because we want to reach ultimately 155 to 160 degrees if we wish so that we can also do beef jerky. Um, that would be awesome. But anyway, there's a quick update. Uh, close to 130 degrees, full airflow. We'll try to get a shot of the apples here. Now, they're looking a little brown. Um, I didn't, hard to see probably from the glare. I didn't put them in lemon water and I should have. Um, I guess I'm not gonna get a shot without the sun killing it. So anyway, they're still in there. They're slightly brown. Uh, I'm gonna say they've lost a, a guesstimate of a third of their water content and it's been two and a half hours so but we slice these very thick there'll be a nice wedge to chew on um, obviously the thinner you slice them the quicker it will work and we have varying some are very thick some are very thin and the one that's very thin looks like uh, it's pretty close to done so anyway that's an update looks like it's gonna crank uh, work very well and the next thing is to shelve the entire unit uh, thanks to the research by Shinona One, she solved a big problem. Uh, we wanted something that was food grade as a rack that was cheap. If you go to Amazon or wherever else, buying solar dehydrator pre-made racks pretty expensive when you think, I'm going to be able to fit probably 10 in there. Um, and they're smaller than the size of the cabinet, so I don't want that. Anyway, Shinona found that we can use actually chicken wire, which is very cheap, uh, and put cheesecloth over it to put the food on. Cheap, anyone can do it, any size you want, build the frame, that's awesome. So that's the next move to install shelves so this is a full cabinet and then fill it and dry the whole cabinet and uh, do a study on that as well. But we will now that we see the process, we've learned we will be starting uh, sometime this week on a smaller unit that could be uh, managed by almost anyone. This is rather large for the average person. Uh, this will be available for anyone that owns a farm in the driving distance. Uh, if they needed a large unit like this, this will be for sale as well. We can build another one for ourselves and we'll be making smaller units for people who just have a small garden, they want to dry some of their stuff, and they don't want to pay the electric bill. Now, if you do some research on YouTube, you will find many accounts of the same thing that I found, people saying that after they use their electric dehydrators, they could have just went and bought the dehydrated food that they produced and saved money. That's disgusting. That, that's why we're in the hell that we're in, and uh, we're not doing that. So anyway, uh, the investment now would definitely pay for itself if you're someone that's dehydrating food. And this one here is going to do lots of it. So anyway, I'm out of here. Much love. Stay safe. I will do one more video of the test. When everything is done, uh, give you the times, do a little demonstration with the kids trying out their apple slices. Much love. See you soon. Touch.